What's going on guys, Logan here, and today I actually got some really, really good news. My car is actually done, it's heading over to the wash shop now, and that's where I'm heading to actually get my car now. I am super, super psyched. I've been driving around in this car for like two and a half, three weeks. I am ready to get out of a little Hyundai Elantra with what, maybe 200 horsepower of that. I am ready to get back in my Mustang. And what is going on guys, it's actually a new day. I know last time y'all saw me, I was actually driving to the Ford dealership to pick up Bubba, but my camera died, so I wasn't actually able to film me actually receiving Bubba, but that Ford dealership, the Tomball Ford, they really, really did me a solid one. They expedited the process because I wasn't actually even supposed to get my car until about next week because the first two bumpers that the insurance company, um, the ones they sent, well, the company that they recommended that Ford goes through, the first two bumpers, they were actually bad. They were all scratched, gouged. Um, I mean, it, really, it looks like th th those cars were in like a rear end collision or something, and they tried to put those bumpers on my car. Well, when the Ford dealership got them, you know, they told them, that, listen, we're not going to put this on the car because it's messed up. So the Ford dealership, they actually contacted the insurance company, told them to send a good bumper. Um, they did after three tries, and the my car is actually fixed, which is really good because I don't have to pay any kind of like rental fees or anything like that for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, it saved me about a hundred bucks. By the way, this insurance company, well, the insurance company of the guy that hit me, um, his insurance company was empowered. The way they do rental cars, um, pretty much you have to pay for it first, and then they reimburse you after you send them all the receipts and everything, um, which, in my opinion, is kind of stupid because a lot of people don't have, you know, four or $500 saved up just to go out and, you know, put on a rental car. And actually, the money I used to do the rental car was actually money that I was actually going to use for um, some parts on my car coming soon. But I did get everything fixed, uh, Bubba's fixed, and I'm actually really, really excited because there's been a lot of changes in my life recently, um, which I'll get to later on in the video. But I am now the manager of GNC, which is really, really going to help as far as me having more money to put into my car. Um, and really, I'm going to have a lot more extra time because I'm going to be getting off earlier and on the weekends. Um, most weekends I'm going to have off, which means I, I'm going to be able to go to like car shows, car meets, and stuff like that now. So the future of Bubba Blue looks very, very bright. But going back to the place I got it fixed, I took my car to Tomball Ford and they were really they, they were a big help to me they were calling me every morning let me know updates um, they were they kept me in the loop the entire time um, and th that was one thing I wasn't supposed to get my car back till next week and the fact that I was able to get it yesterday was really really cool and the people there at the body shop they're actually really really nice too um, I think her name was Heather she was the one calling me every day um, she was really nice she was very very informative um, you know didn't give me any kind of run around or anything and one of the other guys that was working on my car he's a big Mustang fan and he had just Mustang posters everywhere. I had a fun time talking to him about Mustangs too. But enough of me talking, I'm sure you'll actually want to see Bubba and the repair work and how it is, so here we go. And here is Bubba right here, all fixed. He did get cleaned a little bit before he left the dealership, but yeah, as far as the rear damage, it is all done. Um, they did give me a new camera. This is a different kind of camera. I didn't have this exact one. Um, they bent my uh, license plate surrounding thing. They bent that out to where it's uh, not bent anymore. But the new bumper, and the best thing is my trunk actually shuts. Uh, it's actually crazy how much we take for granted the little things, uh, but you start to realize that after things start to get messed up. But the one thing I really missed about this car that I didn't have with that rental car was the exhaust tone. That exhaust tone to that little rental car, there was one time where I didn't even know the car was on because it's so quiet. But one thing is, is that I'm not going to be in Cyprus anymore. I actually got promoted to the manager of the Tomball store, so I'm going to be in Tomball. Um, and one other thing is I actually don't even live in Magnolia anymore. I actually moved out to Conroe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be in the same city as RP Productions. And one thing I'm actually really excited about as far as living out in Conroe is there's a ton of car meets out there. Um, the kind of cars you run into on an everyday basis is nothing compared to the way it is in Magnolia. Because Magnolia, I mean, yeah, there's like average cars running around. Out there in Conroe, I've already seen like a Ferrari. Uh, I saw a Lamborghini. Um, ton of Mustangs, Camaros. There's just all kind of exotic cars out there, and it seems like the car uh, car scene out there seems like it's more active too. So guys, let's go ahead and go to the new house. I know it sounds so stupid about this is one thing that I kind of missed from that rental car but when I had that rental car it was so small that both tires would actually fit in between both of those little spots right here in between the speed bumps so I'd just go right through going like 10 miles an hour didn't even need to slow down or anything but like I said I did move to Conroe uh, RP Productions he does live out there and it's funny because I actually I was looking for a car meet yesterday and I went on RP Productions uh, Instagram and I just randomly commented hey um, 
you know, I'm new to the area as any kind of car meets. He actually replied, told me uh, it was, what was it, like 936 meets. Um, he told me to check out their site. I went to their site and I actually went to a car meet um, not even like five minutes away from my house. And it was actually really, really cool. There were a ton of cars there, a ton of Mustangs, Corvettes, Camaros, uh, imports, WRXs. I mean, there was just a ton of stuff there. Um, and it was actually kind of cool because I actually met a subscriber. He uh, he recognized my car. I actually saw him before. Uh, his name is uh, Jordan. And he has a really cool car, Same, pretty much the same kind of car as me. He's thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Um, and when he actually does, we're going to do some kind of collaboration or something. But he has a really cool car as well. And one kind of cool thing about living in Conroe and working out here in Tomball is the road that I take to go home is the uh, the Tollway Grand Parkway, which there's all kind of races. That's like Race Central. I haven't seen very many cops on it, and as far as cars, I've seen several exotic cars on it, so it should be fun. But honestly, words cannot explain how happy I am to finally have Bubba back, a car that has good audio, um, it will go when I push the gas pedal, and actually gets the looks of other people. It's actually... I don't know, it's an undescribable moment actually when I went there saw my car how they were washing it and everything um, they did a good wa they did a good job washing it uh, but I'm gonna go ahead wash it today wax it just detail it um, it'll be a good day and these things right here always set off my little alarm. I'm talking about a beautiful 5.0 it's the new body it is awesome I like those black rims on it while driving that Elantra. That Elantra had no get up and go speed at all. Look at this, one of my neighbors, he actually has a bright yellow Viper out there, that's awesome. Maybe I can talk to him or something, maybe he'll let me do a video on it. Nice Camaro, SS. I mean honestly, I really really like this neighborhood, I mean look at this, a wide open road right here, in the middle of my neighborhood, um, and like I said, I mean there is, there's a ton of car guys over here, there's a, a ton of Mustangs, Camaros, uh, like I said that Viper back there, um, it's awesome, I really, I like this neighborhood, I, I really really like that I moved to Conroe. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let the sun go down, and I'm going to go ahead and wash my car. Um, gosh, I really, really like to have my car back. It's Three weeks was really, really a long time driving around that little Elantra. Like, like I said, nothing was wrong with the Elantra, but it's nothing compared to this. Well, guys, the internet guy is here now. Um, he, I've actually been living here for about a week and a half without internet. So as soon as he's done, the this video is going to be going up. But yeah, now that I finally have Bubba back, I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos. Um, and I can't wait just, just for y'all to see what's going to be happening with the Bubba. And if you did enjoy this video, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.